What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're going to check out an extension from TomTom that allows you to quickly swap out materials inside of your models. Before we get started, I want to take a second to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Rachel and Sergio Fedorov. Patreon is mostly you know it's the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extension that I cover every week. Make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So plugin name is Material Replacer. Plugin developer is TomTom. Plugin cost is free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse or at the link in the notes down below. Um, a couple things about this extension. The first is you are going to need to install TomTom's library extension in here as well, which is linked on this page. And also, I want to note this link at the bottom of the page where you can donate to TomTom to support him if you like the extensions that he's created for SketchUp. So tool functions. So this is a fairly simple extension, but it's also very helpful. Basically what it'll do is it'll replace all instances of, mater of a material inside of a SketchUp model for another. So to start off, model credit for this model, this 3D warehouse model, is the Modern House by Rick B. And so I've gone through and I've kind of grouped some of these materials together just to give you an idea of why this extension is so helpful. Because a lot of you might be thinking, well, SketchUp already has a way to select all instances of a material, um, and then you could just replace them over here, which is sort of true. And the reason that's sort of true is because the way that works with uh, just the regular SketchUp tools is if you double click in here and you click on these different materials, you can see how some of them are grouped and some of them aren't, mostly because I've gone through and grouped them in this case but a lot of the time you'll get that when you download something from the 3d warehouse well what you can do is you can right click on a material with SketchUp's tools and do select all with same material and what it'll do is it'll select all of the faces that have that material applied and you could replace them like this the problem is if any of those materials are contained inside of a group or anywhere other than just being raw geometry in the area where your cursor is it's not going to work however with this extension what you can do is you can simply activate it by going up to tools material replacer and you can see how it gives you kind of an eyedropper and you can see how in this situation it's going to say it's going to give you the name of whatever your mouse is over so you can see how this gives you your glass your wood your material one which is your stone you can select any of those by clicking on them and then it's going to ask you to select another material that you want to replace this with so in this situation if i wanted to select all of this stone with this wood material, I could just click right here. And you can see how the really great thing about this extension is this replaced that material no matter what group it was in or if it was raw geometry. So I didn't have to come in here and like uh, click inside of a group in order to find it here and then click outside of a group here and select all of them. I could just find all of the instances of the material and just swap it out inside of my model. And so I'm going to undo that for just a second. And so another reason that could be important is because a lot of the time what will happen inside of SketchUp is let's say that I was to go in here and um, place a white material directly on this face but then I was to on the outside of this group apply this other material right here well you can see how this looks like this material has been applied to the faces inside of your model but it's actually been applied to the outside of this group and so what happens is you spend a ton of time in here trying to figure out how to swap out these materials because a lot of the time you'll have a material on the outside of a group and then on the inside of the group you'll make this default and then you'll try to swap out this material you'll just run into a lot of issues because your materials don't get applied uniformly well the really great thing about this extension is it doesn't care so as long as you have a material inside of your model so let's say I wanted to swap this out with like a brick material or a concrete material we'll go with the brick so let's say I wanted to swap all instances of this material out with a brick material all you would have to do is just activate it 
tell it that you want to replace this material and then select this other material and you can see how that gets replaced everywhere in your model and so one place that this is really helpful to me is when I'm modeling inside of layout because inside of layout what happens is you create a bunch of different groups to keep your model organized and sometimes those materials get applied outside of groups and sometimes they get applied to raw faces and swapping them out can be kind of difficult but in this situation it's really easy to do as soon as I downloaded this extension and I gave it a try, um, I figured out how much easier it made my workflow when it comes to applying different materials in here. So you can see I could easily swap out this wood material um, for the brick material. It just makes life a lot easier when you're trying to switch out those materials inside your SketchUp models. So one other thing I want to bring up, because this has a lot of architectural applications, is I do want to bring up that I do have a free architectural extensions guide where I give you a list of my top 20 architectural extensions for SketchUp. I will link to that in the notes down below if you're interested in giving that a try. Um, it's just a number of different tools that are, are really helpful in applications like this one. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Super uh, simple extension this week, but in my opinion, really helpful. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought, if you like this extension, if you use it. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.